All right, fellas, here it is, the Valkyrie called Goldberg uh, 1938 design, and uh, it is finished. Uh, the short kit was great. Uh, Dan Walton with uh, Laser Technologies put all this together. The uh, kit includes the, uh, the ribs there, all the formers inside there, the ribs here. There's a, ply, a lot of plywood pieces underneath here in the pylon. Uh, a lot of little tidbits. The uh, setup for a two-piece wing is also going to be in the new laser cut kit that Dan is going to have. And, uh, and yeah, so definitely well worth the money. There's no way I would have built up every one of those ribs. So, uh, but uh, yeah, there it is. It, I, I'm very happy with how things turned out. The, uh, I think this is gonna be plenty of elevator. Uh, the rudder, I, I just don't know. I'm hoping this is gonna be enough. Uh, I don't need a whole lot, but uh, it's, you know, when I was looking at this Franny, I thought this would be plenty. But now they look at this big wing, I'm thinking, man, I hope that's enough. Um, but I imagine since the free flight one only had a little bit of trim on this back section here, that uh, it should be okay. So I went ahead and uh, fiberglass the tips instead of adding the uh, big metal, I think it was like a, some type of rod or, or it was bamboo, I believe it was. And instead I just fiberglass those. I fiberglass the, uh, the tail. Uh, that section there is all fiberglassed up. It is going to be flying off of grass, I'm um, hoping, and uh, and yeah. So, um, a little words of advice here, guys. When you're uh, building this thing, it's all done, and you're starting to sand this. Be really careful because what happened here? You can see there's a break there, break there, break there. My sanding block got away from me and it rolled and it just smashed right into that, and uh, not a not a pretty day. Um, here's a couple of things here. I, when I sheeted this, I decided to go ahead, since I figured this tip was going to be, uh, could be weak, I went ahead and extended it past that. I sanded this all down, extended it past that, sanded that in there, that looks nice. Uh, and then the same way over here, I went ahead and uh, focused a little bit there, sanded that in. So um, that's just a matter of preference. Uh, let me see if I can get around this thing. Uh, go in here for the pylon shot. Um, this is what I have here. This is 1 16th. This is inside the, the uh, pylon. This is really rock solid. You wouldn't think this would be that solid, but everything's pretty solid in here. This is two layers of 1 8th. Probably too much, but uh, I decided to go with that. Uh, and then, because on top of here is that plywood sheet, I think just the plywood sheet and uh, one one eighth would have been fine. But I did two, did also two one eighths, laminated it, and made it really solid. So uh, here's what the way I have mine hooked up. This is a one rod setup that Dan has put together. Franny's was two, which was very cool. And this kind of inspired the idea. Uh, but this is the way uh, Dan decided to do it, just the one. Uh, I think it's plenty uh, stability in there for this, uh, but that one rod actually holds everything together. I had a carbon fiber rod in there, I was planning on doing that, but uh, this thing is so tight in there. Uh, some, somehow, after putting this thing together, uh, things have really gotten tight in, in there. So. Uh, I'm not sure if things warped or what, but anyway, this is what I have here. So you pivot this down and grab a hold of that, and, and that slides out, and uh, which is really kind of nifty. Uh, I, you guys could do this differently than that Dubro 1 8 wheel collar, but I was uh, just wanting to get things kind of put together there. So, uh, so that slides all the way out. And that pops right up and uh, pretty snug in there. And you can see how that all goes together there. And these two halves pull apart and there's two tubes, aluminum tubes in there that hold the piece together. 
and away it goes. Um, I do have like a little mark here on the back to show me where to line that up. Uh, it's pretty well right there in the center, uh, but I had to uh, add some wood uh, filler there. So anyway, after I get it all covered, I probably will make a mark on the front and the back to, to show me exactly where it's at. Um, I measured it, or excuse me, I weighed it, and it's seven pounds, three ounces, which uh, I, I can't believe uh, that they say this thing uh, could have weighed six pounds. I was like, holy cow, I thought I was so light. But uh, a lot of that could be due to this engine, but I don't know. Uh, you would think that Brown Jr. with all the extras it needed was probably about the same weight. Uh, but anyway, but uh, Franny, I did, thanks for the advice. I did move this pylon back. It's back a lot further uh, because it could have been way up here. And because there's the shelf here and the end of the shelf is right there. So I didn't have a whole lot more room to scoot back on. Um, but anyway, uh, I think it's all good. The uh, uh, everything's pretty well ready to go. The battery's in there. Battery, I actually built it into the hatch over here. And uh, there's a hatch there. It's got the battery behind it. And there's a hatch back there for the servos. There's a batter, uh, servo here for the throttle. All right, guys, I am going to start covering this puppy. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and rub it down a few more times with uh, wet paper towels and alcohol and... and uh, I don't do a whole lot of balsa right and uh, because I, I just hate working with that stuff. It seems like it balls up the, the older stuff. Um, but there she is. All right, we'll see what I come up with on a color scheme. It's going to be, I really like the way Franny's turned out. So it's going to be sort of like hers except different colors. But, uh, but I think the, uh, the way she cut out the, uh, the wing and stuff like that for her design was great so all right thank you all we'll see you bye